All right, folks, and we're back to another part of the, actually, it's part four, I believe, of the Pokemon trading card game, where we're going to try the gym leader one more time. Hey, at least I know where we're at now. But anyway, so in the last part, we did some grinding up. I kind of played a couple different people, you know, nothing big here. But you can see right out of the gate, my hand is a whole lot better than it was last then time. What, yeah. Which is good, because, I mean, this guy takes a while if you don't get the right cards. And I flip heads, so, I mean... All around, awesome start. The, the, this is one of those games where it is better to go first. Yeah, it is. You know, there are other games where going first doesn't affect you really that much. Any, um, I know in I know in some cases, like in Digimon Digital Card Battle, which I think we're gonna be referencing that game more yeah. than any other game because that's seriously one of the best card games out there. It's like in the very beginning of the game. You know, you kind of want to go first all the time because then you get the first Digivolution. But I remember after a while, because in that game, you know, you can't attack first. The guy that goes second gets to attack first. And I remember just, I remember building a deck that went off of one Digimon in particular, where I would do nothing but discard and redraw till I got him. Because the minute I played him, it was over. Yeah. And I would always want to go second to get the first hit. Because it just made matches go by so much faster. And God, I remember getting that deck built so perfectly. And then I re, well, then I lost the memory card. So I had to restart anyways. But. Well, I think the reason why we've referenced it so much, and uh, get ready for this one, ladies and gentlemen, is somewhere down the line, I hope that we play that game. We've like, already referenced that we're going to. Yeah, like, I mean, the fact, I, like, actually do it and play through the yeah. whole thing. Collecting every card, every fusion. Oh, hell, I'd be down, dude. Get well, I mean, well, I mean, it'd be like, you know, I mean, we have all the parts leading up to the final battle, and then, I mean, the cool thing about that game is that even after the final battle, there's still a lot more to do, you know, and so it's like that one can just be never ending, you know, just keep on going until people get sick of it and tell us to stop already, <laughs> which, you know, probably won't take that long. Oh, by the way, I don't remember if I told you, but um, we got our first suggestion for Friday Night uh, Rivals, and I think someone, uh, I think I think the one that he suggested was um, Friday Dragon Z Fights. So do you want like a an honest opinion, or <laughs> am I supposed to be sarcastic to save this guy's feelings? <laughs> All right, let me just break it down for you. No, no, and no again. And I'm not, it, you know, I read it too. It wasn't. It's not the fact that it has nothing to do with the name. It's that we're not actually going to be playing that. That much, Dragon yeah. Z games. I mean, I get it. Yeah, right. Me too. Well, I, I mean, it's like I really do. This channel is basically Dragon Ball Z. Like it that's ba been. that that's one of the biggest things we do. We can't help it. It's what we grew up with. I mean, goddamn. I mean, that, that's all we played. I mean, I, I remember specific weekends from school where all we would do is verse each other with different combinations in Tenkaichi two and three. Oh. That's all we would ever do. And it's like you know, uh, I mean, Budokai Budokai two is one of our bigger hits right now. You know, we're, we're already doing DBZ sagas to appease the fans that want us to play that craptastic bullshit game. Don't even one, one of my bigger video series, which I still don't know why, is Boo's Fury, which is still probably one of the worst video series I've done as far as commentary goes. But it's like, I get it, you know? This channel has been specifically a lot of Dragon Ball Z. So I get why, you know, someone would think that that'd be a good title for it. But the fact of the matter is, which I mean, it makes even more sense because the fact that we have Budokai 2 being our next Friday Night Rivals deal. Oh, way to ruin it. Yeah, well, they saw it. Who, who didn't see that coming? <laughs> But yeah, um, so but fun. then, but then after that, we'll start venturing into some other games, people. We promise. You want to know one in particular? Energize. If people don't know what that game is, I feel bad for you because it's gonna be awesome. That's one of the I remember that I specifically remember because we only had the demo version and we could only fight each other using that one character. First gym battle win, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it. no, you're about to see something <laughs> even funnier happen as soon as I leave this gym. Oh, I think I know what it yeah, is. It, it about, I froze for a second it, there. Like, it ticked me off. See, Vileplume. It's funny. We, <laughs> ended up, we ended up getting like the best card for that guy after we were done with him, which I, is stupid. I know. That one really pissed. I mean, I wasn't even playing and that pissed me off. See, I stopped for a while because um, you guys will see. Oh, man, it's so funny. 
anything that could have gone wrong at the beginning of this went wrong. And if you know what that means, then you'll you'll know. But we walk right in, and of course, me being me. See, here's the thing with the water gym. You have to beat everyone. So I went straight for it. Yep. Like, you have to beat everyone. It's the same thing with the grass gym and the electric gym and the psychic gym. There's only a few gyms you could just, you could just walk right into. bolt right to the leader. And I think he did that in the fire gym. I think he just bolted right to him. He said, fuck this. Which is All funny. Way. I didn't think I'd be able to actually go against him because the stipulation to go against the fire gym leader is that you have to have a certain amount of cards in your collection or else he won't duel you. It's stupid. Like, he will, you have to prove yourself. Well, remember, you did a lot of grinding off camera so i mean you pretty much did end up probably getting the amount of requirements you needed just by doing that yeah of course. you know that, that's like the only way i could see that but um yeah like i said trust me when i tell you guys this we will be playing other games you know it's not all gonna be dbz we know dbz is some of our most popular videos and we realize that and we stick with it we will be doing a lot of DBZ, but we're not going to reference everything to DBZ, period. <laughs> I don't think we'd ever play the DBZ trading card game for this channel because it's just that fucking hard. Like, well, even I mean, if we did, it would be like a, it'd be more of a spoof, like we'd be doing it to show, to show how bad how it is, but not actually playing it. Because, I mean, the card game itself, it is fun. You know, it's definitely one of the harder card games to learn how to play. But once you get the hang of it, it is really fun. But man, that game does has no mercy. Even going against, like you got to pick who you go. If you want to go against Frieza, be my guest. You're gonna get raped, but you can go. Against, actually, no, you only get to pick. No, at the very beginning, you get to pick between like Krillin, Goldo, and like another person. And we always thought, yeah, Krillin will be easy. No, he mops the floor with you. I mean, they he's all, all do. All energy based, yeah. He just mows you over. He will. Like if you don't make a deck specifically to block every energy attack, he's gonna rampage right through you like it's no one's business. And you're just you're at the mercy of it, no matter who you pick. You know, to be to be your starting one. And uh, just take it for our word for it. It's a really hard game, fun card game in real life, but um, the the Game Boy Advance version, not, not so great. <laughs> Speaking of. Not so great games for the Game Boy Advance. I might recently start playing Tales of Fantasia again, or that one we tried out a couple years ago. I actually went all the way through and beat it once, so I decided to get back to it because I still think that the Tales series, like Symphonia, Fantasia, Destiny, very underrated titles. And so I recently found out that there was actually a Game Boy Advance port for Tales of Fantasia. My god, does that game suck! I mean, my God. I mean, during the cutscenes in the Japanese one, you obviously can't understand what they're saying. It's Japanese. But in the English one, like, you hear the guy doing the chant to do, like, one of the ultimate moves against the bad guy. And I'm not saying, like, oh, this is, like, one of those funny bad guys. No, this is this very serious villain here. Like, he wants to eradicate the whole... He wants to just wipe out all existence on the world. So what's the first English line he says? What the heck are you doing? And then he gets blown to, to obliteration. Like nothing but dust. And it's like, really, that's a translation. Just, what the heck are you doing? And the gameplay is so slow. Because it's one of those RPGs where you get to control your own character and you get to move side to side. I swear to God, every single step takes, takes like five seconds. Oh my God. God, it I is so, play that game. Oh man, no, like the original version on the Super Nintendo. When you're going against a wasp, even at level one, you can kill them in one hit. That was the purpose, to help you grind up. It takes like seven hits to kill them in the Game Boy Advance version. I died in my second battle going against werewolves. Because they overpowered them to extreme levels. I went back to the Super Nintendo version. I made Wolf Worlds my bitch because that was the point. You're starting off slow because, I mean, and some people might be sitting there thinking, boy, what a freaking pussy, you know? Guess what? If you really want to play Tales of Fantasia, go ahead and do it because I can guarantee the second half of the battle will kick your ass. Completely, but Game Boy Advance version will kick your ass in the get go. It's like, oh yeah, see this really simple enemy in the first game. <laughs> Take that. And obviously, since this isn't the reason why, um, the reason, no, the reason why it's so bad is because the translation again is just terrible. I mean, obviously, what the heck is that? It sounds so stupid. Dude, but just you wait, bro. <laughs> There's a game that we're gonna be doing for the channel because I want to do it, and that's the end of it. But anyway. So here's what it is. It's called 
It's Jumping Flash 2. That it's, sounds familiar. It's the one about the mechanic bunny robot thing. Oh, God. And you have to go around the levels and collect the guys. Now, it's not going to be an issue just because I know where everybody is, so it takes me like five minutes per part. Here's the kicker, dude. I was playing it last night, and I finally beat it. It's not that hard. Once you learn the boss patterns, you literally dominate them. There's no way you can lose to them. However, you beat the game, and it pulls the number one cardinal sin of gaming. And it, you get to the title screen. You notice that the title screen has a different title now, underneath Jumping Flash 2. You're like, oh cool, they threw in a separate episode. It's called the extra version of the game, you know? But it's got a different name, so you know the ending's gonna be different. All they did was repackage the levels again, and they threw in the shittiest cutscenes for the in-betweener. Because it's like, you have like these scenes in between every single boss fight you win. Yeah. They are terrible. <laughs> like, when we do it, like because I, I, I'm so fast in the game, yeah. we'll probably end up doing the extras too. Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> I was so upset. <laughs> That, like, I had to walk out. Like, when I was playing it, I was like, dude, I'm done. I can't. It's the cardinal <laughs> sin. Don't make me replay the game uh, the same way. Like, you have to play it exactly the same so way. Ba so, basically, it's kind of like uh, Ghosts and Goblins or Super Ghouls yeah. and Ghosts. It kind of gives shit. you the exact same thing to get you and a they better the ending. bosses to the most ridiculous attacks. Like, they suck the first time around. The second time, they're almost nigh impossible. It's like... Yay, good job. As I say, there are just some developers out there that don't know how to create, you know, make a game the right way the first time. First time oh, here we go. This is where I'm like, dude, stop it. Just stop it, bro. You need to stop it. Toxic in this game. Toxic is... does 20 damage in between each turn, so he's going to be dead before my turn even ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, you got poison, yeah, but, I mean, Toxic is, like, that in itself was just sticking it right to them. I mean, God, that well, was funny. That wraps it up for this part, I think, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. it does, because then you go against the water Double gym. Double colorless energy. Nice crap. And Zapdos, Zapdos. legendary my ass. Anyway, we'll see you guys that. next part. <laughs>